Okay, here we are. This is the front of the house, and um, it looks like they have lots of gardens and lots of flowering plants all planted through here. I know that's a hydrangea. Um, they have this pretty flowering, I think it's a crab apple maybe? And they have a little swing there. You can see the side yard here. It has a little pretty white gate. Um, we got some sage in here and we have some thyme and it looks like maybe some lavender, which is nice, and some mint. There's extra parking that they've done right here in front with some gravel. They have this, um, <clears throat> this green stuff is uh, supposed to be growing grass, I believe. It's like grass seed, I believe. And they have trails all throughout. This is probably all flowering plants at one time. A giant holly, which will be great for the birds. And also in the winter, it'll be pretty. Um, there's a crepe myrtle that's been trimmed in the front. There's an addition right here. I suspect that this addition is the part that's um, too close to the road. Um, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Uh, at all you can see there's some steps leading around and they have some potted plants on that little um, bit of concrete there and the houses in the neighborhood are nice which you know the neighborhood so i don't need to show you that i think they put these dormers in and uh, built the second story um master suite or owner suite so, a lot of the plants are coming up. I see some purple coneflower and some black-eyed Susans, and I see some something I can't remember. Um, you have this great porch. They've upgraded the lighting. Be nice to hang out here in the evenings. <clears throat> and here's the door with this giant knocker. When you enter, you come right into a living room. And uh, there's two big windows. All the windows have been replaced in this house, which is nice. And I was pointing that out to um, JP that it's cold out and you can't even feel it. They're, they're really um, well insulated. They've put this planking on the ceiling. Um, probably because it had original plaster ceilings. And um, they were probably getting a uh, plaster repair is uh, a little bit, can be a little bit difficult. We've done upgraded lighting throughout. We have dark hardwood floors. Um, there's the uh, oatmeal, just like you guys have at home, JP told us. And then the dining room. The dining room, um, again, has that nice big light window. And there's enough room in here for a hutch or whatever you need. And it walks right into the kitchen. So your dining area and your kitchen are very connected. They have these neat um, drawer pools. These are solid wood um, cabinets, and most of them have um, pull-outs, which is nice. I noticed that on the pantry. Again, solid wood, which is nice. Oh. They have granite tile instead of solid granite, and they have this farmhouse sink. It's black. You have uh, views of the street here, and a nice little light that they've replaced. And then this is the, the big pantry with all the pull out um, solid wood and then up here you have a lazy Susan which is nice the wall here is chalkboard and it's a little bit rough they're having ribeyes for dinner and uh, again solid wood which is nice um, honestly if this was my listing I would have cleaned it a little better but, um, you know, it is what it is. So, from the kitchen, you have this awesome sunroom. And uh, it doesn't really have a change in temperature. Sometimes when you have uh, all these windows like this, you'll, you'll have a colder feeling. This room is not, not cold. In fact, the house feels a little warm right now. And from the sunroom, this is a cool little shelf with all their herbs. And teas. Um, you have an exterior door and then you have this laundry facility. They've taken the doors off the laundry. I see this a lot. Uh, a lot of times the new units uh, kind of stick out too far. Um, but you have some extra cabinet space. And then out here is a deck. I was pointing out to JP that this is 
um, composite wood, which lasts a lot longer than regular wood. It's made out of recycled plastics mixed with um, like wood shavings or something. And then these are all stainless steel, which are a nice little upgrade. They're quite expensive to um, put those in. You can see here's the side of the house. They have rose bushes and all kinds of um, plants, beautiful plants planted along there. And here's the deck. Here's your parking area. They've poured brand new um, concrete in this area so you have your own designated parking. You don't have to park on the street. It's all new and it has a drain system installed down there. And the backyard. Um, I like the decorative fence. JP believes that you'll need a higher, um, higher fence for some more privacy. And there's the little fire pit. You step up a little bit and you have this little seating area, an area for a barbecue, and more of this planking goes downstairs. <clears throat> They have a dog, so I have to be careful where we're walking. Looks like we got some, um, I don't know, some kind of mm, lavender or something. This little fenced area probably had a garden in it that they were trying to keep animals out of or something. It's closed off. I think I see some, some mint there, I believe. Oh, it looks like we have some blueberry bushes, I believe, here. Blueberries. Oh, no. Those are raspberries. <clears throat> and some beautiful flowering um, peach trees. I believe those are both peach trees. Some nice shade trees. Plenty of space out here for playing. <clears throat> this time of year, our lawns are just terrible shape. So this will all green up. I'm going to go in now. Back into the sunroom and the laundry facilities. I'm going to show you the rest of this floor before we go upstairs or downstairs. This little tiny hallway leads to the basement. And then in here we have the smallest of the bedrooms. This is the one with the Murphy bed which is a pull-down bed. I'm not quite tall enough. I don't know if you can see this. It pulls down. Whoops. I dropped it. It has legs. It goes on it. I'm wearing myself out right here. And this is the closet. Okay, I'm going to put this back up for you. It's not hard to do at all. I'm just trying to hold the uh, phone. It's super easy. Okay. It also has um, some kind of wood planking. And those are all um, from the knots. They're soaking through. On pine, you have that a lot. When they're stained or painted, you have the knots soak through because they have oils in them. And then this is the hallway. This is the first bathroom. Got a beautiful tub. The toilet's back in this little alcove. Has um, <clears throat> some built-in shelving, which is really nice. And this great tub, it's super deep. Glass block window. These neat modern lights. Looks like some paint need to be touched up there. And it has the barn door. It's cool. So a little telephone shelf, and here is a coat closet. <clears throat> this is the kids' bedroom. It's quite large. It has lots of windows. It looks a little dark because they have these this furniture in front of the windows. Um, the windows are all, like I said, those replacement windows. You have the dark floors. This probably used to be two rooms, and they... Um, you can see where the floor's been replaced and they made it one big room with this big closet um, it has a curtain that goes across the closet and 
windows all around. There's some sort of funky modern light fixtures. I don't know if you can even see those. I'll show you this one. The walls in here are all kind of soft gray. Um, you can see some imperfections like this bulge right here, which just, I think they used to have a closet right there in this room when there are separate rooms. <clears throat> I'm guessing at one point there was a door to that room from in here. Okay, so upstairs is this door in the hallway. They've um, put floor treads in. They're all oak. They're very, very solid. <clears throat> and now you're in the master suite. It's quite wide, um, a little bit narrow, plenty of space, natural light, again, with the replacement windows. They've set that up as like a little office space. You can make that more storage. Um, and then you have this closet, his and hers. And it has a little shoe alcove. And then um, there's a little bit of additional storage in the eaves here. And here. I don't know what this thing is. It's an air filter of some sort. And then you have this master suite, I mean master bath. Okay, so you have granite on the floor and then you have a little commode alcove with two vessel sinks. You have a little sitting area over there with natural light. A little cubby for your towels. I don't really see any additional storage in here. I guess uh, underneath these. And then um, here's the giant shower. It's quite large. It looks like it's just been used. It's got some water on the floor. I think they almost need to have some. Got some storage in there. They almost need to have a, a different uh, vanity that has more storage in it, uh, is my guess. Again, these floors are really, really pretty down here, up here. <clears throat> now there's only one more place to go, and that's the basement. Back in the sunroom. And we're entering the basement. So they have extra storage, a lot of extra storage down here. A lot of Legos. Um, I'm imagining all these shelves are built in, so that's really nice storage. And um, you can see see their replacement windows so you get natural light they have this sort of set up like a play area um i guess the kids play down here and get their legos out and everything it's pretty clean the floors look pretty clean i don't see any water staining on the walls at all the um cinder block looks to be in good shape looks like they have some paint here here's the radon system that they installed you can see the date on there Over here we have the garage bay, which isn't really a garage. You can't really pull anything into here except bikes and kayaks and motorcycles. Um, but it's nice to have access to the outside just like that. And then more storage shelving. Looks like they have a built-in water filtration system. Oh no, that's a tankless water heater. Sorry, tankless water heater. And then there's another room here in the attic. It looks like it's set up like a workshop of some sort. And that might have had uh, some kind of doors at one point. Um, the ceiling is pretty low. It's maybe six foot, maybe five and a half. 
but it does have lights and everything and lots of storage so that's nice so that's pretty much it in this house